हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल लाइट अप नॉलेज एंड वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू टूडेज वीडियो आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल कवर प्रेडिकेट वी ऑलरेडी कवर्ड सब्जेक्ट सो नाउ इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल कवर प्रेडिकेट देर इज अ सेपरेट प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ सेंटेंसेज इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज ऑन माई चैनल द लिंक ऑफ विच विल बी अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स विदाउट एनी फर्दर अर डू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टड we already know that a subject is the doer of an action it is that part of the sentence around which the whole sentence revolves the whole action revolves now let's understand predicate predicate is that part of the sentence that contains the verb and gives information about the subject so therefore predicate is that part of the sentence or clause that contains a verb and what does it do it states something about the subject it tells something about the subject okay so therefore it is the latter part of the sentence which has a verb and it gives more information about the subject or the action that is being performed have a look at this example here all the students assembled in their respective rooms so therefore all the students is the subject the doer of the action but what the action is being performed is that they assembled in their respective room so assembled in their respective room is that part of the sentence which is acting as the action and other components of the subject is the predicate so therefore it is that part of the sentence that contains verb and adds more information about the subject let us talk about the components of a predicate the first one is a predicate may consist of only a verb okay and sometimes a predicate may consist of a verb and it can can consist of objects complements adverbial modifiers etc so a sentence could only contain a subject and a verb and can also contain subject verb complements adverbial modifiers and objects so th that makes the whole composition of a sentence and predicate is that one part of it let us have a look at this set of examples the first one is she dances so in this particular example dances is a verb therefore it is a predicate too because a predicate may contain only a verb the next example is he eats pizza he eats pizza so in this particular example there is a verb there is an object pizza so a verb a predicate may contain a verb and an object the next example is i met her at a party i met her at a party in this example there is a verb met there is an object her and therefore they are some adverbial modifiers here at a party okay where did i meet her at a party right so therefore it may contain a verb object and other modifiers we find a similar division in predicate like that of subject and the three types of predicate are simple predicate the second one is complete predicate and the third and the last one is compound predicate let us discuss each of them in detail the first type is simple predicate it is the part of the sentence which has only a verb so a simple predicate only has a verb a simple predicate is the main verb or a verb phrase of a sentence that tells what the subject does so a simple predicate is the basically only the main verb or a verb phrase in the sentence and it does not contain any other modifiers with the verb let us have a look at this example here the dog is running through the empty field the dog is running through the empty field so therefore there is a verb phrase is running and there is no modifier between it so therefore a simple sentence only contains a verb or a verb phrase next is complete predicate it is the part of a sentence which has verbs with a modifier so complete predicate is a predicate which has verbs and therefore uh, i have modifiers attached to them so a complete predicate consists of a verb and all the words 
attached to the verb notice that the words will be attached to verbs right and uh, it could be uh, objects it could be adverbs it could be another prepositional phrase so the simple predicate is the main verb in the predicate of the sentence okay have a look at this example here rohan and his sister rohi never wanted costly gifts but simple things so in this portion never is an adverb that is an adverb of negation therefore in complete predicates they will be modifiers attached to the verbs the third and the last type of predicate is compound predicate it is the part of a sentence which has two or more verbs with a conjunction so therefore a compound predicate occurs in a sentence when multiple verbs apply to the same subject okay and when the multiple verbs are connected with a conjunction and uh, basically this is called as a compound verb right so have a look at this example here i love the way he plays the guitar but his singing makes my ears bleed so he, therefore there is a conjunction but and verbs like plays and singing are joined by Uh, a conjunction and prepositional phrases are also important because they help to provide more information about exactly what the subject is doing so therefore these they are also important parts so yes guys that was all for today's video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you found it useful if you did please like share and subscribe to my channel all the important links will be linked down in the description box until then keep learning and keep growing